Hi, and welcome to another tutorial with Mr. Petchmo. Today, we are going to dig in a little deeper on Google Classroom as a student, and we're gonna show you how to open up assignments that are posted on Classroom, turn them in, and how to attach files that uh, teachers need to see from you. So we're gonna start out on our Google Drive window, and I'm gonna make sure to zoom in so we can have a nice large view. We're gonna use our Omnibox and we are going to navigate our way to Google Classroom where I have my sample student account. Trevor TikTok is his name and he belongs to the social studies grade six um, classroom. So we're gonna open up that classroom and we start off on the stream. There are three tabs at the top, the stream, classwork and people. And we can, under people, we can see everybody who is in on the class. This is just my sample class so we don't have any other um, students in here, just uh, my my Trevor TikTok student. But we can navigate our way to the classwork tab. And this is where we're gonna find our three assignments. Now we already presented on Google Meet. So if you'd like to watch that one, that one is a different video on my webpage. Um, but we're gonna open up the Social Studies 6 assignment. This assignment was assigned and it is due March 27th. We can see that here. There's also another spot that's really handy for due dates and it's on the stream, go back to the stream and look at the upcoming. It will show you all of the assignments that are due this week. And then if you want to, you can see them all right here with this button. So nice little feature. So we're gonna go back to Social Studies 6, uh, the first assignment, and here is my assignment. So I'm gonna open up this Google Doc and Google automatically renames the doc for me. Now this document is shared with my teacher automatically. So my teacher has access to see everything on this document. And um, that is really a great thing because the teacher can share like pre-written questions and I can fill them in. Or I can write my paragraph, oops, assignment. I cannot type today, slow down, Mr. Petrimo. I can write my paragraph assignment here. So when you're done with your assignment, you can just close this tab. Remember, Google automatically saves, so it's a really nice feature. And let's get uh, go back to our Google Classroom. Now, I have my Google Doc right here, and I can access it either right here from Classroom, which is honestly the easier solution, or I can go back to Google Drive and I have a classroom folder that all of my things will be stored in. And so if I want to navigate to classroom and then social studies grade six, here is my document. So it's a little tricky, but I recommend just accessing it right on Google Classroom, makes it easy. Some teachers are not gonna give you that option. If you see an assignment too, there's no attached post. So that means I'm gonna have to attach that, but let's do one thing at a time. Let's go back to our first assignment we, let's double check our work. Yep, my paragraph is good. I'm gonna close that out. And when I'm done, I am going to view the full assignment. Once you go to view a full assignment, then you'll notice I have a turn in button and I can turn it in here when I am all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one in. It takes just a moment. And now my assignment is turned in. If I go back to my classwork and try to open that document, watch what happens. I still can open it and see it, but I can no longer edit because Google has transferred temporarily the ownership over to my teacher. So now I can't edit it, which kind of locks me out. I can still view it. If you decide you want to make a change to it or if you wanna add more to it or write a better paragraph, what you're gonna have to do is come back to the assignment and go back to view assignment, and then you'll have to unsubmit it. If I unsubmit it, that is going to give that document back to me. So then I can go back to classwork and open it back up, and now I can add it. That button is gone, and I am allowed to edit my docket, document. The second way that we are going to turn work in is on a post where there's no attachment previous. We're gonna write our assignment on a different Google Doc 
and I'm going to go to view this assignment. And this time, when we are ready to add our work, and this works for Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, Google Forms, I'm not going to mark it as done yet because I have no work attached and my teacher will not be able to see my work. Before that, I have to add a Google Drive file. Now I can go right down here to create new. If I open this up in the first place and it's going to require a Google Doc, I can go right away to create uh, to add a Google Doc. So that makes it nice. But I've already written my file, so I want to go into my drive and I am going to go to Trevor's document. And I'm going to open that up. And now it's going to attach that document to this assignment. And then again, I can turn it in. I can turn in that assignment to my teacher. And my work is all turned in. And go back to my classwork. And I can click on assignment two and see that it's turned in. And I can go to assignment one. Oh, that one's not turned in yet. I don't have turned in over here. I have the word assigned. So I'm going to go back to that one and turn it back in. And now I can check both of those items off my list and feel good. Now it's turned in and this one's turned in. So we are all caught up with our work. Now, when you go back to your stream, notice your upcoming, it's all done. So this upcoming tool is really useful. All right, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed yourselves and learned a little bit about Google Classroom and uh, we'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye. <laughs>